What's going on everybody? So I've been having this trouble with my Toyota Sienna climate control system. Um, it takes a full 45 seconds to a minute for the climate control system to be functional. And I think I found a solution. Check it out. So I pretty much explained it in the intro, but the, uh, the biggest issue is when I turn the car on, it takes a full 45 seconds to a minute for the climate control system to start working which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're sitting there in the hot car, it, it, it is quite a bit. Another thing I noticed was that when I changed it from hot to cold, from max cold to max hot, it was only staying cold. It would, never, it would not switch back and forth. So I went underneath the dash and discovered this. So just above the gas pedal, right behind the center console, there's a blend door actuator. It connects to that white gear on the right there, upper right hand side of the screen and it connects to that blue connection on the left there. And mine was not functioning. Here's what it looks like disconnected. The uh, new ones on the left and the old one on the right. So simply it's burnt out. So I'll leave a link in the description for the new one on the left there. Um, it's not a genuine Toyota part, but I figured for less than a third of the price, it's probably a, a good buy. Um, time will tell. Uh, these are very common on modern climate control systems, especially systems that have a, uh, like a set temperature, say you want to set it at 70 degrees or 72 degrees, uh, these are very common. And just because I'm showing you on the Sienna doesn't mean that this isn't very similar for many Toyota cars and many other cars for that matter. Uh, but when you're reinstalling it, you want to make sure that the gears line up perfectly. There's like a little slot in the middle of the gear on this particular model that has to index itself. So just make sure that you uh, kind of test it out before you turn it on and give it a test run. As you can see, it took a little bit of time to get this in there perfectly. I had to kind of move the gear around a few times just to get it to line up. Once you've got it lined up and in position, you want to reinstall the two screws and then also the connector. When you tighten down these screws, make sure you don't tighten them down too much. You don't want to strip out the plastic. Then reinsert the connector and give it a test. I knew it was a good sign when I started up the car and the climate control was instantly on, but then I went through the tests. So I started by turning it to max cold, then to max hot. Then I tried a few different um, temperatures in between and the gears didn't bind up at all and it seemed to work flawlessly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and liking this video if this helped out at all. And make sure to check out the link below. Um, I'll link the one for the Sienna, but the other ones are very similar. So just go through and find the right one for your car. And you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.